So Hollywood is determined to use all of their old IPs now because they can't come up with anything new. We always have to go back and grab older stuff and bring it to a a modern age. Everything is being mined now. The Flintstones are even being mined. Remember the Flintstones? I, I didn't really watch them growing up. I remember them on like Cartoon Network and stuff, but a little bit before my time. They have tried to revive it here and there over the past decade or so. I remember the John Goodman movie. I don't know if they ever brought it back in cartoon form, but they are going to give it a direct sequel. I'm assuming this is a direct sequel to the original television animated show that aired a long time ago. I don't even remember when that came out. Like, what would the time be for that for that cartoon? Like, 60s, 70s? It's a long time ago, right? So they're, they're going to make a sequel to this old property now about them going from the Stone Age to the Bronze Age. Would be an interesting concept, but then you see who's attached to it. Literally failing upward, Elizabeth Banks, who was a part of Charlie's Angels, if you remember, a humongous flop, did terrible. It's a terrible movie, did terribly in the theaters. It was a disaster, huge box office bomb. And, you know, you look at the things that she said, She's very, very open about her beliefs. Elizabeth Banks says Captain Marvel, Wonder Woman were hits because they belong to the male genre. She's always going on about male gaze. If you remember for Charlie's Angels, she was literally saying, don't worry, boys, this film ain't for you. And then (laughs) what was funny about that, it's literally a meme. It's like, it's like, men, this movie's not for you. And then two weeks later, the same outlet puts out an article saying, why won't men go see Charlie's Angels reboot? (laughs) Like, she's clearly ultra woke, right? So I'm sure that all of that is going to be applied to this. So it's like, okay, you've had several failed projects. Let's go ahead and just give you this Flintstones cartoon, a direct sequel to the original. Though I'm sure fans, and I'm sure there's, got to be some Flintstone fans that are watching this are going to say, you know, no, thank you, but she's going to, she's going to get the show. Uh, we have a synopsis of what it is. Fox is working on it. Isn't that like, isn't that like 20th century studios now? Why are they still using the Fox name? Isn't that just Disney? So Disney is working on it. They're working with Warner brothers who I believe owns the IP, but I'm just, I'm not sure anymore. It's, it's so crazy now. But anyway, let me let me go over this with you. Long before the Simpsons and Springfield, the Griffins and Quahog, or even the Belchers started serving burgers on Ocean Avenue, there were the Flintstones and Bedrock, said Fox president Michael Thorne. Their imprint on the animation universe is undeniable, and the idea of adapting it for today's audience is a challenge we here at Fox are very much looking forward to taking on with Warner Brothers. Elizabeth and Lindsay, no pressure, no pressure whatsoever, really. So it's going to follow 20-something Pebbles as she begins her own career while her dad, Fred, nears retirement. With the Stone Age giving away to the enlightened New Bronze Age, the residents of Bedrock will find this evolution harder than a swing from a Bam Bam's club per the show's logline. And that's really all the information. They're just saying they're doing it. But there's a couple of things you could unpack from that, right? Dad from the old age, out of touch, strong, career-driven woman. Okay, Moving into a new enlightened age. I see a lot of making fun of the last generation. I see a lot of just from her own her own voice moving on a lot of it's gonna the show's gonna be woke big time. And it's gonna tackle, you know, exism and eminism and all the isms and phobies and all that stuff. It's gonna be a shitty show. The show's gonna suck and it's gonna fail. And what do they do? After the show fails, well, she'll fail upward again and probably get another show 
because there is no failure in Hollywood. None, which is part of the problem of Hollywood. Uh, you get to strike out 70 times. And by the time you've striked out 70 times, you're already sitting on a fat pile of cash and living in a mansion from all your failures. People that do good aren't rewarded. And it's one of the reasons why Hollywood has just been falling into a blender for the past six to 10 years. Okay. Everything that's come out of Hollywood has been almost pretty shitty other than a few projects here and there. Most of it's all been garbage. And this show is just another slap in the face to stuff that's come before it so that they can insert some kind of identity politics in it or something like that. And it's going to taint the original and it doesn't need to happen. But, you know, it is what it is. So I'm sorry to all the Flintstone fans out there. This is what it's going to be. And uh, I'm sure it'll get one season, maybe two. No one's going to watch it. The ratings will be somewhat high out of curiosity. And then it's just going to fall off a cliff because the show is going to be garbage. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.